Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, so for today, we're gonna, well, I'm going to play the council. Um, and I'm not a gamer, so this will be incredibly infuriating or uh, hilarious. I mean, not a gamer <laughs> is, I mean, she has experience. She's yeah. played uh, Animal Crossing, and Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley. <laughs> so that's the extent of my <laughs> gaming ability. So this will be yeah. interesting. Um, but sit back and enjoy as we take you through the game. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. I love this guy's attitude. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. <laughs> Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know? Very interesting. I have to admit, about. Mother. The I, only thing you've ever taught like me is that design. damn hmm. motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. The mother was so goofy. <laughs> Bumbarcher. Like a budget Maggie Smith. Bumbarcher. That's Maggie Smith. Mm -hmm. Listen. <laughs> it wished out call Maggie Smith. Yeah. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. <laughs> oh, cat. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. I'll just trust you. Yeah. Please. Mother knows best. Be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. Ah. There we go. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Yeah. No, no, I thought better. his hands were still tied he's in the chair. Now he's so like, let it go. question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. Mother. This time, I'm coming with you. Every time you know, he says Mother, I just think of that. Even though you impress me more and more, TikTok, I have to do uh, this on my own. Was it Mother? I crave mother, <laughs> you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. They meant to be the Notre Dame. They are in France. Sorry, that's her cat. <laughs> 
one month later, January 20th, I do love the aesthetic of like the well done, stairs and those yeah. archways, but like if I had to climb that every time and wanted to leave the island, imagine you come home tired and have to no a <laughs> long day at work on the mainland, and you come back home and you just stare the stairs. And now he writes me. This is another thing I gotta fucking do for this. Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. It looks like something you'd find in like the like, old Greek world. Really? Yeah, because they had like a bunch of those tiny islands uh, across Greece. Mm. Um, At least he could do is explain to each of their own like, settlements and then stuff on it. So in any case, some of them were just built on like, mountains. Stop all this, mother! It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again. Slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. one may be able to imagine. It was not the host himself who invited me. Well, now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good sir, what brings you here? Ah, uh, business. Lord yeah. Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, yeah, consider that's... yourself fortunate, yeah. young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Mm -hmm. uh... Uh, yeah, yeah. And you, yeah. Duchess, keep it off. you seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me being, like, if you find me nice. over the studios, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Mm. Mm. Are you all right? Hit the lucky cabinet a little too hard on the boat, it seems. Just look at those wrinkles. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, you if kind of kill me, you won't mess. find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I 
trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! You can run if you want this to, vision sir, is giving Harry Potter circa book five. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna make a lot of Harry Potter reference. <laughs> I mean, there are like. <laughs> Louis, it's vibey. Know. It's vibey. <laughs> I don't remember his face being that wrinkly. Here, take this. Like in the earlier cuts, the vision has aged. Huh? The vision Sorry. aged. Keep it. That blood looks better. so ketchupy. I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you? Okay. Are you sure? Yes. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. Andrews. I definitely have first to find my child. <laughs> Am I going crazy or, or what? Okay. This can't be real. Hey, we can do just arrived with Whee! me. What's happening to me? For God's sake. Game looks beautiful. Though. I absolutely yeah. need to find you, mother. I'd like to visit this island. Maybe not in these circumstances. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think we need to go there. Is it gonna give me another cutscene? Oh, yeah. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess. I'm not sure if you remember, oh, but we okay. met before. <laughs> At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Ooh. Choose okay. your Okay. So, do we want to be a diplomat who's gonna shine in society? A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. And the skills we would get are politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, or diversion. Occultist. This is probably the one I would choose for myself. Um, <laughs> it just looks cool. Manipulation, occultism, erudition, sciences, subterfuges. And the description. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using the others, using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. It's because and... of the occult is that I'm... I feel like there's going to be like uh, some Lovecraftian stuff. Really? Yeah. Okay, and the detective, the detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. And the skills we'll get are questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility. It does logic. say uh, choosing class defines your basic skills. The other yeah. skills will still be available. So it doesn't mean we're locked into... Yes. Like, I feel like with the character we have so far, Louis. he just fits Detective the best to me. Yeah. Yeah? yeah definitely... We'll just go with that. Because we can still unlock the other skills at a later time. So I think it's fine. And I'm just going to randomly sprinkle in the available points. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that torture their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine. That's such Emily. a random saying. <laughs> Tell me. I was actually helped on that case by my mother. See, there was no her by any chance. <laughs> Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? That's awkward. Uh, uh, no. Nope. Please excuse me, madam. I'm <laughs> sorry. Sure we... no, I, <laughs> I, I, I need like a second to like. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. 
please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt, remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Okay, opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most su suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Okay. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? So what would have happened if you chose her yeah, necklace? I have no idea. We can't Emily, do it again. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. You still haven't <laughs> answered about my mother. Still living over? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here. I'm very impatient. <laughs> it wasn't clear already. <laughs> I like just let's get to the meeting. Let's go. Let's go. We're going like this, Emily. But you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Okay. Talents. <laughs> you obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlocked conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Um, okay. Alright. This guy kept walking back and forth, so I feel like they wanted want to draw attention to him so we should probably go talk yeah, to him. Yeah, I think him. he was just unloading Good the sir. boat May I ask or unloading their goods. Yeah. Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, his mother's not Um, too. what do you what know? can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since uh, his mother went He's missing. So cute. All the staff here have since been busy searching. Not the characters are cat. <laughs> <laughs> but sir, so yeah. rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. Really and just what you've found so far, <laughs> it would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. Many people are here. We think that perhaps mm -hmm. Sir's mother was here. Because the way he talks about it sounds like it's more like a hotel room than a manor. Okay, your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. Okay. Yeah, so we can do yeah. that for zero. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah and it's free. Can yeah. you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. He's vulnerable to of damage. <laughs> Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Okay. Yeah, okay, so there are things we can't do because we don't have the skills yet. Right, so we can just, yeah, let's just yeah. try saying, let me have it. Give me the handkerchief. Off zero. So I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I I've traveled can't. hard for several <laughs> days in order to get here. Yes, but invited by your master. No, of course, but because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. And having chill. only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Of course sir. not, Here sir. you are. <laughs> I must return now. There's still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Okay. Yeah, you can correct all their French. <laughs> it is indeed your handkerchief, mother. 
He must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing oh. out here on this war? Okay. Hey, so let's Gaming explore. rule one of one. Yeah, explore. You know the way forward. Check all the other alternatives. Been broken for quite some time. Hey. Yeah, I thought that pot was something. No. But it was just the light. Royal jelly. Restores to okay. effort points. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm a slow reader. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Rope. Apparently, no one's touched it for a good long time. Oh, the lantern. A lantern. Nothing special. Mm. Who are you to judge? I wish we could take the rope and the lantern. I just feel like it's things that could come in. See what's hidden inside. I think you would then really love playing um, hidden object games. Yeah. Because there, you just pick up shit, just collect stuff. You don't know when you're going to use it. But just as infuriating, once you use it, you just throw it away. <laughs> Let's find it. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your hand. Oh, that used to be. Yeah. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. If her middle name is... Why does the name uh, sound so familiar? Yeah. What was it? Something with an F, though. Uh, Faustine. It, Faustine. Then it wouldn't... Wouldn't it be then SF? Uh, instead of SD on the handkerchief? No, Spanish, because it's just her but name and her last name, so Sarah well, Dutiche. Hope we meet to talk about it mm. soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Okay. We have the letter, but we don't know what the letter yeah. is referring to. It's definitely... Look at the intonation in her voice. I'm like, I want to mark the occasion. I feel like she's hinting at like this is the person we're after kind of thing and most likely the names are just like they need to be rearranged or they stand Ooh, their stand-ins for like it's actual like names yeah it's unopened no one for sure to used any. must be an incredible view from up there impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away Go beat the guard for more information. It's like a bar from an old game. <laughs> just go completely Imagine violent. The bar has been broken for the Be as chaotic as possible. Yeah, just, yeah, just pure chaos. And the just get off the boat, jacket. straighten the jacket, pick up mouse. a stick. Tell me where my mother is. I put my money on cannon powder. Take it, of course. This might just yeah. come in handy. And just hide that in his pocket. You know, one of those collapsible metal bars. The lighting is so deceiving because you think something's yeah. shining, but it's just... Oh, there's that. No, it's the left. Mm, there's the water. There's something, huh? Yeah. The stars are beautiful. Hey. Oh? There's something not yeah, right it's... about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Rip it up. It's gonna cost us three. Oh, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. Mm -hmm. And judging from what <laughs> I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Uh, 
a little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Maybe that's what she collected from the broken barrel. It could be the cannon powder or one of the things. Yeah. Uh, should we... Ex- Rusty key. Keys are Ooh. always important. Yes. This iron key completely rusted. Take it. Take everything. <laughs> no. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Um... Yeah. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. There's stars in the back. It smells of her perfume. <laughs> piece of soap. Some oils and her powder I mean, puff. It definitely seems like she's what hiding out. What does this mean? Mm-hmm. Examine the food. Yeah. Fruit, I just want to examine it. Because examine everything. Bacon and some bread. Ooh, bacon. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here... Roughly two days, and if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Okay, and the, the bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. That's it. Okay, that's <laughs> it. Should we take it out? <laughs> right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to mother when I see her. I'm crying out loud. Okay. Why did you hide? Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there that would nowhere, like mother. I don't know what's going Stop on. Stop her from like living. Obviously, you feel like you're in danger. Okay. Can we use the key? I'll never get it open barehanded. Use the key. Uh, oh. Okay. There we are. Nice. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, sorry. Pistol case. That looks Didn't like me. the pistol in the vision. This has anything to do yeah. with the Or maybe that's just pistols. I think, yeah, back then, <laughs> flintlocks just look like that. Just like in my vision. And none of it's See? telling me anything useful. Okay. What is this? Jelly. Do we use one? Yeah. Um. Uh, down arrow, I think. There we go. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think it's it here. Where's it? Oh, there's a corner. Oh, and there's something. Okay. Hmm, this wharf is used. <laughs> I'm just up there, in there, in there. Uh huh. What do we hear? It's cannon powder. Yeah, that looks exactly like the powder that we have in our. Yeah, but we don't have a skill to identify. I don't know what the person who left this barrel Too dumb. has had in mind, but it's a waste. basic. <laughs> so, let's go through this. My mother's been Wait. hiding. Amber fragment. Sorry, you I know he was in the look talking. <laughs> Might be. Uh, you increase your maximum F point one. Ooh, okay, so those are important. Fragment okay. of amber. Up. Oh. oh, should have went. Yeah. If it's important, we'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. See, I told you if you watch me, it's gonna be frustrating. So. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I'm just so glad we can run. Hey, up the stairs we yeah. go. Oh, there's two little... We need to be further you away. Something in Latin. Latin inscription. Annesis. Infili quantilia produncia mundus orgatio. Didn't you study Latin? No. <laughs> oh. I guess I just thought of Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I love this place. Look at the dog statue. Look at this. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? It's beautiful. And the elevator. And the columns and everything. Yeah, when you're up here, you sort of forget that it's a barren, rocky, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I feel like if you live in a place this big, you don't have need for much else. Yeah. And I can clearly get somebody else to bring me all the shit to Yeah, exactly. These doors remind me of Han Solo, uh, when he's frozen in the... Oh, the 